I'm Daniel McCullough, president of Harbinger Events, and we are at the House of Torment in Austin, Texas. I am John Love, the vice president of Harbinger Events. Um, in 2003, I started uh, here in Austin with the House of Torment. Um, that's the first year that I met John, and he started working with me at the Haunted House. And since then, we've been, you know, making new gains every year and growing our business. And we've uh, been in this location since about 2005. Um, and uh, that's pretty much the, the main history. The first haunted house I went to was Dan's Haunted House back in 2003 when he started the House of Torment. I had a friend, uh, Travis, that worked for Dan who had been trying to get me to go like the entire season. And I was like, no, I'm not really into haunted houses. It's not really my thing. And when he finally got me to go, um, it was during the daytime and he walked me through the show you know, with the lights on and everything and I was absolutely blown away. And it was something different, it was something incredible. And that night I worked for Dan um, as an actor, first time ever, and I just instantly fell in love with scaring people and entertaining people that way. And I saw a lot of potential and I knew that, that this thing was something special. I ever thought that, you know, we'd be sitting here where we are today, but through a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication, long hours and just you know, at the core, believing in in the haunted house business and what we were doing here in Austin um, has really paid off tremendously. So if you're starting out, you know, it can be done, but it's it's a lot of work and it's a lot of hardship and it's a lot of risk. And if you're not game for that, then you're probably in the, the wrong business. I think if I was doing this as a business when I started, I would have quit years ago. Um, I got into this because I loved it and I took on a financial burden year after year because I just wanted to be a part of the Halloween industry and I think that naturally allowed us to grow and afford to not worry about finances and you know how much money we made because um, it was out of love not out of, out of a need for um, a business. Um, but through that it grew into a business um, and then it, it created an opportunity for John and myself to do this full time and uh, since then we've been able to turn it into a real big business and, and grow even outside of Austin and Texas and and we've got several different shows and uh, we participate in a lot of other people's shows and, and help them do design and conception um, but you either if you do it for a business you have to be prepared to spend a ton of money or lose a ton of money if you do it for love then you're doing you're doing the right thing and I think it'll work out I think some things that have really helped us grow this business along the way is going to trade shows and making friendships and connections with other successful haunted house owners. And just a piece of advice on taking advice, I think there, you know, everybody has an opinion. Um, and I think you know, most people in the haunted house industry uh, that you talk to will give you good advice and help you out, but you know, definitely take advice from people in a situation that are in a position that you want to be in in the future. And you know, just having friendships and other contacts in the haunted house industry has tremendous, tremendously helped us along the way to grow this business. I think the, I mean, I think House of Torment is known for its you know, left field creativity, doing things over the top, and it's also really built in this unique way. Um, we kind of talked about it a little earlier. It's not just a series of wall panels. Uh, there are massive sets. And there are rooms you walk under, rooms you walk above, um, no matter where you look there's something to look at. Um, so I think from like a production design and production quality level uh, we're top notch. We'll make our own little costume and we'll have this little random character that will run around. Um, one year it was Fozzie the Bear. <laughs> as stupid as that sounds it was just hilarious to watch this guy running around and giving the scare of a lifetime to customers with the Fozzie the Bear mask and, and it's just amazing to see what people will come up with to to try to scare people with and the reactions that you'll get from people with the dumbest most un you know related to Halloween costumes that we can come up with and that's that's been fun. I'm Daniel McCullough with uh, John Love here from Harbinger Events. We're at the House of Torment in Austin, Texas with the top haunts.